Sam Jones, Flash Gordon, and we are at Long Beach Comic Con 2016. Where it is now, Fox Studios, uh, along with Ma Matthew Riley, he acquired the screenplay rights for the next Flash Gordon. It's been in development now. And nowadays, because of Ted and Ted 2, it opened up a brand new age demographic for Numerous times, I'll be walking down the sidewalk, and instead of a fan saying, oh, hey, Sam Jones, Flash Gordon, they'll just walk up to me. Everybody, I'm Tommy Walker. Um, I play Francis on Netflix's Daredevil. Anybody that comes up and knows the show or wants to talk about the show or even my character, it blows my mind. I'm super grateful. And it's really, really fun. And being part of the Marvel Universe is kind of like uh, It isn't always the case, depending on what role you're playing. But in this circumstance, yes, because it happens to do a lot of comedy. So being thrust into this world, it's a very dark, very serious world. You have to really commit. Uh, even though it's super heroic, it's very much like a crime noir show. So for me, I had to create a backstory for Francis, and I'm not shy about saying it because my Twitter fans have been very vocal about it, and I happen to agree with them. And though it is for another company, I'm Lauren Lester. I'm the voice of Robin and Nightwing from Batman the Animated Series. And at the time, we didn't realize, and we knew it was a great show, but we didn't know that 25 years later, we'd still be talking about it. We have such a huge fan base, so people who are in their show I actually got to play both Robin and Nightwing. Uh, it was a flashback scene where you saw Robin uh, before he became Nightwing and it was a challenge because he, was, he had a different... Hi, this is Susan Eisenberg and I'm at Long Beach Comic Con and I'm going to be answering a few questions. I think about Wonder Woman. Let's see, it's just two parts. The music was incredible, story was incredible. Um, Talking Dove, I loved because I got to be a little funny and play off of those guys. So that was wonderful, wonderful. Um, but you know, like look at everyone who wrote for the show and directed the show. It was like Dwayne McDuffie and Dan. Ultimately, you're an actor giving voice to a character, and so you want to have some acting chops in that. Um, and then you got to get a demo reel, and you got to get an agent. But if you my name is Melina Perez and I am a former WWE five-time champion and we're here at Long Beach Comic Con. A lot of people told me being a female wrestler it was a kind of like women are looked at as a joke and it's all for novelty and I would I refuse to accept that. I just kept even though sometimes I played the part of and when I hear stuff like that like it does it makes me want to cry because that's the ultimate not only the ultimate compliment but I feel like all the titles in the world, like I could keep getting titles, but nothing will mean as much as something like that. It was so incredible. The thing is, is that not only was it difficult because it was 39 miles of walking, like I pushed myself and I did something that I didn't know if I was capable of doing. Like I know I'm an athlete, but at the same time, I've never walked 39 miles before. Hi, I'm Phil Lamar and we're here at Long Beach Comic Con sort of halfway the research team because whenever a character would come up I usually had something in my bag that had that character it's, like, it's more storytelling it's more character based and it's it's a lot more like regular on camera acting and even if you don't know it you can still I mean, one it changed American cinema or actually perhaps world cinema um, movies the dialogue is written in such a way that every line seems to come naturally after the line that came before. It just flows. You you have that stuff memorized by the second or third time you're going through it. And you can't help yourself. Like, I just know. I mean, you've been watching Authentic Culture Network. And you better stay tuned in because I will find you. Yes, I will. <laughs>